As a little girl, I dreamed of owning a red beanie and a wetsuit, just like my hero, Jacques Cousteau. Growing up in Modesto, surrounded by vast fields and orchards, the ocean seemed unimaginably exciting and far away. Every week, Mom took us to the Stanislaus County Library, and I always ran straight to the science and nature section with the shelf full of Jacques Cousteau books, each filled with sea creatures and adventures. I would carefully decide which to carry home and spend the week drawing fish and puzzling through the big words in the books. One day, we went to the library and I saw a masterpiece, The Ocean World, an enormous collection of Cousteau Society books. My mom reminded me of the rule, I could only check it out if I could carry it. The walk to the front desk was exhausting and took forever, but the book was mine for the week. And that year, for my birthday, my parents got me my very own copy, which I still have today. I remember the first time I saw the ocean. My family drove to Monterey, past hours of farms and fields, until the air started to smell salty and cool, and suddenly, there it was. I ran across the sand and stood in the surf. I remember how dizzying it was looking down, seeing the water sweep across my feet and pull back out to sea. When I got home, I sent a poem and some drawings to Jacques Cousteau. The Cousteau Society actually responded with a beautiful poster of two dolphins, which I taped proudly to my bedroom door. It hung there until I moved away for college. The ocean has continued to represent adventure, possibility, and change in my life. After college, I landed my first job at sea, although my ship looked a lot different from Calypso. I was a dancer for Princess Cruises and fell in love with the feel of sea spray on my face and the ocean rocking beneath me. Over the years, I worked on ships that looked a lot more like Jacques Cousteau's, from a marine naturalist for the American Cetacean Society, to a science instructor aboard the RV Sea Explorer at the Ocean Institute, to taking part in an Arctic expedition. Those library books opened the world to me, and I have become an ocean explorer myself.